Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Day of the Tentacle. Let's see now. Excuse me. Yes? Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. Gee, I gotta go now. We have to interact with him, so let's see. Exploding cigar. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... <laughs> Didn't even flinch. <laughs> oh, dear me. Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Ah, now I see. Okay, so, but now we have some other teeth. Could you use these? <laughs> Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. <laughs> hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh. I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. <laughs> Two hours later. You big baby. <laughs> Uh, hey, what do you know? So now, blanket. So, Hancock, how are you feeling? Hi there. Hello. Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a fine powder, and that blanket was really making me itch. What's with the canary over the fireplace? Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know <laughs> the building's on fire and we run like crazy. Hmm. Who thought of it? It was invented by Red Edison, the owner of the inn. Hmm. Well, why doesn't the fire in the fireplace set it off? I assume it's because all the smoke goes up and out the chimney. Hmm. Who feeds the canary? Actually, no one does. It's a self-feeding canary. It's specially <laughs> bred with some kind of nutrient-producing bacteria in its gizzard. It's quite a time saver. I expect everyone will have them in the future. I see. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Uh. Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. Ooh. And you want it to be the turkey? Well, yes, but I'm afraid I may lose out. You see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. Hmm. What's so great about the turkey? They've helped us to survive since we set foot on this continent. They're symbolic of prosperity and the thanks we give for our lives here. Besides, they're kind of cute. Well, he's not wrong, is he? What's wrong with the eagle? Well, it's a bird of prey for one thing. I don't think that's an appropriate symbol for our country. <laughs> Political commentary there. Uh, let's see now. Don't you guys have anything better to do? Such as what? Establish domestic freedoms? 
Come on, this is important stuff. I see. Good. <laughs> well, gotta go. Hmm. Goodbye. So, I do wonder if we're going to deal with that suggestion box at some point. Um, Yo, Tom. Thomas. Uh, da -da -da. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. An argument has broken out over whether we should separate church and state or legalize bingo parlors. I sure hope someone gives us a useful suggestion soon. Hmm. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Hmm. Okay, so let's see. What else can we do? Now we have a blanket, so we can get them out of here. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. So that's how it goes. Um, we can set up the smoke detector by blocking the fire chimney. I uh, by blocking the chimney. We do have a blanket, which we can do that with. I think that would make everybody here leave, which would allow us to meddle with the constitution. They don't seem to have gotten too far. But I suppose we don't need to do that just yet. We don't know, exa know exactly how we want to alter the constitution. But we can. That's the thing. Let's see now. And if you, of course we can uh, trigger the... Um... Oh, meanwhile. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? <laughs> You're right. Well, that could help, actually, if we could uh, fix that. But uh, first, we're going to go back to the Chrono John. Because I think... Let's see. Just in case we need something. I'm not sure what we're going to need. Uh, right. Back to you first. I want to see the both fork. Um... What would I use the fork for anyway? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's see. Where do we want to go? Right. We want to go topside because there's a flag which we'll need. So up the chimney. Wait a second, I thought this was where the flag would be. Um, was the flag in the past? Where was that flag? And how do I get it? No, I can't use the shortcut up to the roof, so I'll have to go the long way, I suppose. But I don't think it was here, was it? I was almost certain it was in the present time. Um. Right, no flagpole here. Hmm. No flagpole there. It's locked. I can't. It's stuck. Well then. Oh my. Seems to have a high tensile strength. Hmm. There's some IRS guys in the next room. Not with those IRS guys hanging around. Hmm. I wonder. So let's have a see. Now we have a good rope. Um. Nah. Not, not with the. Not with the. Let's see. Rope with the pulley. There we go. See, uh, we kind of want to deal with the poor Dr. Fred, right? 
we need to save Dr. Fred. At least I assume we have to do that. Let's have a look at... Um, at the IRS guys. We didn't talk to them, did we? So they should be here-ish. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is 28% below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. I've noticed that they seem to do well with a man on first after a fly ball when the opposing pitcher is left-handed wearing a green hat. Okay. Fascinating. <laughs> what did you say your wife's name was again? Sandy. Oh, yeah. Did you say you have a PPA? Hey, you can't go in there. Nope. Is that a W390B for What is it? Hmm. Are you guys brothers? At the IRS, we're all brothers. <laughs> what have you done with Dr. Fred? We've got him safely locked in the next room while we go over his books. Hmm. No, you can't go in and see him. And don't even think about staging some kind of rescue. <laughs> uh. Who's your tailor? Very funny. I'll just be moseying along. Keep your nose clean, kid. Okay. Good thing we've got Dr. Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? So, we'll have to save Dr. Fred somehow. And I think we know how to do that. Or at least we have certain ideas. We already fixed the rope, so we're now, head, now we're gonna head out here and... Uh, let's see. See, there we go. So, we have a dangling rope. And we're gonna use that dangling rope with Bud and Cousin Fred Ted there. <laughs> oh dear. A noose. And I'll head back upstairs. So we'll try this. So we're gonna try to pick up the rope or use the rope. What for? Uh, da -da -da -da, pull the rope. Oh, come on. You can do this. Come on, Bernard, you can do this. And there we go. Uh, can we use the rope now? Oh, no, no, no. We have to, uh, of course, now we have to tie it to uh, Dr. Fred. Of course we're going to save Dr. Fred. So now we... Let's see the rope. We're going to use that rope with Dr. Fred. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Oh, by the way, capital gains taxes apply even if you spell your name in lowercase on the form. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. We'll have to use Ted with Fred instead. There we go. Uh oh. Hey. Who's this, Doc? Relative? Well, I'm sure we can audit him next. This isn't hmm. a party. Hmm. Oh! Now I know. Uh, we need to find some red paint, which we already have. So, back to the Chrono John.
You stay right here, Bernard. We have someone who has red paint. Uh, of course, he'll have to find his way down again. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to get back to the chrono, chrono thing, though. So how the hell do I get your dentures? Hmm. There must be a way to get the horse's teeth. Not sure how, though. And I don't think we saw wherever... Uh, wherever uh, Franklin's teeth went. Still, we haven't explored much in the... In the um, future yet, so there might be some items to interact with there. First of all, though, red paint. Because you need the red paint. And now we need to get upstairs again. Because we need Fred to wake up so we can get the diamond thing. Ugh. So many things to do. Da -da 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 -da. And now we use some red paint on Ted. There we go. And now we use Ted with Dr. Fred. We'll see if that's efficient. Hmm, thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, <laughs> try and keep it down, okay? Hey, there we go. So now... We can probably use... There we go. Yeah, perfect, Bernard. You did good. So now we can use the rope with Dr. Fred. Hopefully not a lot of news this time. And let's use the rope. Pull the rope. Nah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. What? Ah. <laughs> the other direction. <laughs> ah, there we go. And... <laughs> Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Mm-hmm. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. But we can fix that. So let's see now. We have... Yeah, use funnel with Dr. Fred. And coffee. That seemed to do the trick. Damn good coffee. Okay, so now we have Fred back in among the living. So, contract. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Hmm. Well then, how are we going to do you this then? Will please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Uh. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy <laughs> trying to think of a way to save it. Uh. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Oh, come on, Dr. Fred. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Hmm. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? Ha ha ha. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, fair enough. So we've got him to wake up, but we couldn't get him to sign the darn letter. How do we do that then? Um, what was this flyer It's again? from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Oh. <laughs> I, I have an idea. Idea. Let's see if we can get Hoagie to the... Here we go. So... <laughs> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Harassing Betsy with arbitrary flag design changes is getting dull. Besides, <laughs> last time she threatened to stitch me. No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? <laughs> Whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good. And so shall it be law. <laughs> What's a vacuum cleaner? There we go. So, let's see now. It was over here, right? No. It's in the future, apparently. Or is it over here? But hey, that, so I guess that's also in the future. Uh, the flag is in the future. Hmm. Let's see, what else can we do? I don't know, we'll have to go back to the future and see. Um, you have what items? Not much at all. How do you get up to the... How do I get you to get to the costume? Um... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. So we're back here. Uh... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Okay, so we're back here. So... Uh, there aren't any ways out this way. I have to get out the door. Uh... Hi. Hi. Hmm. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. <laughs> That's quite a tutu you've got there. 
thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Okay. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. Oh, poor thing. Is your hair naturally blue? <laughs> Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your own is going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Okay. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? <laughs> okay, fair enough, Harold. Uh, I don't know if we can enter and leave anywhere else, though. Hold can it. we? Not that way, certainly. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I Good. wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Yes, I know, Missy. But, uh, I don't know. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Hmm. I wonder, can I use the last door? I just need to check. Okay, we could go here. Fair enough, and now we can go to, to the fireplace. Which means... We don't have a costume! One size fits all! No way could I reach that. Um. The crank is missing. Oh, so we need to find the crank in order to do this. Ah, well. But now at least we have some new areas to, ex areas to explore. And we're going to do that next time because it is time for a short break, I think. Thank you for watching.